Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up. Today we're going to be talking about antipsychotics, but more specifically my experience with them. So to start with let's list the antipsychotics I've been on, I've been on quetiapine, olanzapine, Clopixel, Clozapine, and Haloperidol. I currently take Haloperidol. It has been the most beneficial antipsychotic that I've ever taken. And it comes with very minimal side effects, for me anyway. It, it doesn't make me too sleepy, it just calms everything down. It stops voices, it stops me hallucinating. And all around it's just been a really beneficial medication. So let's start with Quetiapine. Quetiapine was the antipsychotic I was on before I went on to Haloperidol. The first antipsychotic that I tried was Olanzapine. And honestly, it, I reacted so badly to that. I've done a whole video talking about my experience with Olanzapine, and I will link it on the iCard up there. Believe me when I say it, I had a full psychotic episode because of that medication. It was the worst. I would not recommend. <laughs> and I was only on 2.5 milligrams. So some of the side effects that I had off that was shaking, hallucinations, delusions, Paranoia, restless leg syndrome. The list goes on. I had a lot of side effects of olanzapine, and honestly, I would never touch the drug again. The next antipsychotic I tried was Clopixel. Now, I tried this when I was under the age of 18, so it was monitored very closely. I didn't react great to it. It made me very sleepy. I couldn't stay awake sleeping and I wasn't on a very high dose. But it just... It, it just wasn't a good medication for me to be on. It made me paranoid. It made me sleep all the time. I couldn't get out of bed properly without falling over. My mum had to help me get from my bed to the bathroom and then back. It just, it was such a bad medication to be on. I'm not saying that it's awful for everybody. I know some people who are on it now and they are amazing on it and it literally saved their lives. So don't get me wrong here. The next medication I went on to was clozapine. Now I went on to clozapine how many years ago? Five years ago? And truth be told, I don't remember a lot of it because I was unconscious in A&E. The first time I had my bloods done for clozapine, I it came back red, so I didn't get the medication. They did it again a few days later, it's still red. They did it again a few days later, it's still red. And then I came off it and went on to quetiapine. So quetiapine, I was on 150 milligrams in the morning and 600 milligrams at night. Now, that was a very high dose and it sedated me. Yes, it helped with my insomnia, and that's the good thing about it. The bad thing about quetiapine is it made me put on so much weight. <coughs> quetiapine didn't really help with my psychosis. Which is why I came off it.
it it just sedated me and I think the idea was sedate me so I don't pay attention to the hallucinations which didn't work shock I know who would have guessed and then we have haloperidol which I take now and honestly best medication I've been on it really does help me a lot if you if you wasn't here on this channel when my psychiatrist fucked up my medication I'll link the video here because yes I documented it my psychiatrist is an idiot that is the title of the video and no I was not exaggerating my psychiatrist is an idiot but yeah haloperidol has been one of the best medications I've taken I do have to take procyclozine as well as haloperidol because of the stiffness but apart from that the only annoying side effect I get is constant chewing so I'm always my mouth is always chewing and that pisses me off but yeah if you are new maybe to consider checking out my patreon because i have a patreon now and i post once a week on that the exclusive video that is never going to be shown on my youtube channel only patreon only so yeah i'll link that on the icard and in the description down below if you want to make a one-time donation you can use my paypal which is also in the description down below or coffee which is also in the description down below I'm very efficient and if you didn't see my last video I did a day in the life of a beginner figure skater I finished all my coursework I went figure skating and sat on the floor because I totally didn't fall over well I did but I attempted a jump which was hard, my support ankles weren't that supported in my skates which did shock me a bit because it should have maybe I just didn't tie them tight enough who knows but yeah thank you for watching this video if you're new subscribe join the growing family leave a like, leave a comment and I'll see you on my next video peace